In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Raspberry Pi Connect to access your Raspberry Pi remotely from anywhere. So let's get right in. Hi everyone. So I just saw the news that the Raspberry Pi announced the beta release of the Raspberry Pi Connect, a secure and easy to use way to access your Raspberry Pi remotely from anywhere on the planet using just a web browser. By the way, this was always possible, but it was a little bit hard and difficult to configure. You would have to open a port on your router and things like that. This simplifies it a lot. So this is the Raspberry Pi Connect. It's still a beta version. I'm not gonna sit here and read the article for you, but I will leave a link in the description. However, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you how we can install this using this code then we're going to use it real quick. Now I went ahead and I logged into my Raspberry Pi. And by the way, I am remote desktop into my Raspberry Pi here. However, this is using the same network. So I'm on the same uh, modem router. And when it comes to using a different network, that's when things get complicated. But let's go ahead and try our first command. And that is sudo apt update. So let's do that. This should update the system. If your system is already up to date, then this should be quick. Uh, the next one would be the uh, sudo apt upgrade. So let's do that. And also if everything is already upgraded, so this one should also be quick. Now for the command that to install the Raspberry Pi Connect. By the way, you don't have to memorize these. I will just leave the command for you in the description. I will also leave a link to the article so you can just copy and paste. Let's do a sudo apt install. And I believe the app name is rpi-connect. So let's do that. And that's going to install the Raspberry Pi Connect application. So we'll give this a minute. And then when this is done, we're going to go ahead and restart and try it. Now the Raspberry Pi Connect is installed, I did a quick reboot to my Raspberry Pi. Before we can proceed, we need two things. First, you need a Raspberry Pi ID account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. I will leave the link in the description. The second piece that you are going to need is a monitor to connect your Raspberry Pi at least for the initial setup. If you are going to use a remote desktop, which I was using initially, the remote desktop will not show this icon. So if this icon here for the Raspberry Pi Connect is not showing up, that's maybe because you're using a remote desktop. And there is a workaround that you can use the SSH and still connect the Raspberry Pi, but a physical monitor will make your life easier for the initial setup. Now we have these two covered, let's go ahead and proceed with the next step. Now I'm going to assume that you already have a physical monitor and you already connected your Raspberry Pi to it. And you can see the Raspberry Pi Connect icon up here. If you do, that's great. If you don't have a monitor and you can't see the icon because you're using a remote desktop, I will go over that a little bit later in this video. Now let's click on the icon if the icon is purple, as you can see here, that means you've already signed in and everything is working. If you haven't signed in yet, you click on it, you will be given the option to sign in. The icon will be grayed out. After you click sign in, you will get to this site, the connect.raspberrypi.com, and you will sign in with your Raspberry Pi ID. You are given a special link to link your Raspberry Pi to your Raspberry Pi ID, and that will enable the screen sharing. So make sure make sure the allow screen sharing is enabled or that box is checked. Then clicking connect here from any browser should allow you to access your Raspberry Pi. And that's pretty much it. If you wanna disable sharing, you can do that from here. Also, you can sign out. If you do sign out, then this will not be available for you to view over here. 
this is the website where you go to access your Raspberry Pi. Once again, it's connect.raspberrypi.com. That's the same account for your Raspberry Pi ID. Again, I will leave a link in the description. Now I'm gonna go over some troubleshooting if you don't have a monitor or if you can't see the icon. Lastly here, I wanna go over some troubleshooting. So first you need to make sure that your Raspberry Pi is running a 64-bit distribution of the Raspberry Pi OS. So you would need a Raspberry Pi 5, 4, or a Raspberry Pi 400. I will leave a link in the description to the one I'm using in case you're interested. Uh, the other piece I want to show here, I really want to emphasize that you do need a physical monitor. Otherwise, you will not see the icon if you're using remote desktop. But you can try the SSH version. I tried it, but I couldn't sign in. So here is a command line that you can, uh, or command line code that you can use to start the Raspberry Pi Connect. There is another code down here. I will leave a link to this article as well. This one goes in, in depth into a lot more details, and I really like it. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, this is another command code that you can use to generate this sign-in link with uh, a special code at the end, which will allow you to link your Raspberry Pi to your Raspberry Pi ID. However, you still need to sign in, and unless you can click on that icon, I wasn't able to find a command line code to let you sign in using SSH or anything. So you can still link it, but you cannot really sign in. So I had to bring a physical monitor at the end. So highly recommend that. Uh, the last piece I do want to show you here before I let you go is if you're not signed in, the icon is going to be grayed out and it's going to look like this here. If you're signed in, it's going to be purple and that's when it show you the screen share and everything. So I hope this was helpful. If you find it helpful, please consider like and subscribe. Uh, this is it for this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.